Presently, publishing is really dominated by these for-profit companies, uh, a few big ones, who have a massive control over the whole industry. And that leads you down certain paths in order to ensure that the profit can be generated for shareholders. And that dilutes, in, in many cases, dilutes the quality that you're willing to accept. And the authors really are kind of used in the process, right? So they, they are donating their work to this company uh, to make money from. The key is to make that information available open access. That's where the problem lies. That is where uh, some companies are charging exorbitant amount of money in order to be able to make your research available to everybody. And, and, and then that goes back to what are we doing the science for? Is it just so that our club of academic researchers get to pat each other on the back? Or is it to actually try to do transformative work? My take on open access is very simply, as long as taxpayers are footing the bill, it's the responsibility of the entire system to make sure that the data, the results, are, are available, freely available to the public. I'm in a university, so the university subscribes to a large amount of uh, uh, journals, but I know that many of my industry collaborators, that they always have to pay to look at some of the journals that um, you know, charge a fee for downloading content. So uh, for me, I think the information flow is a little bit limited. It's very difficult uh, to decide every year with the budget we have which other journals we're going to pay for. Because sometimes I need some uh, information about biology and we are not really getting that uh, information because we are not paying for a subscription for biology uh, journals. I think it's the responsibility of the authors to make sure that their information is accessible to as many people as possible. So by having it widely available, you may have people reading the journal that wouldn't normally read the journal, or people that maybe aren't sophisticated, highly trained in science, but they would have access to that information, and oftentimes that's where innovative, out-of-the-box ideas come from. The person with the very expensive piece of equipment isn't necessarily the best scientist. I personally benefited a lot from open access because uh, as a scientist you can actually see that your citations and your recognitions really go up because of the open access. I have uh, 30, 40 requests per week of authors, people that cannot access the journal I'm publishing in because they don't have the resources. So the need for open access information is clear. So in some way, we're helping the developing countries to build up their science program. This means that we are truly democratizing the, the whole, the, the practice of publishing. So everybody in the world, just yes, having an internet connection, have, can have access to any information. I think that's really, really powerful. We are doing this to improve the quality of life, to leave a better world for the succeeding generations than, than what we found. Our membership develops new science and technologies for renewable energy, water sanitation, food safety, uh, medical uh, diagnostics, and medical clinical care. With the open access, ECS contribution to science to society will be much bigger. I think this is a, a complete paradigm shift in the way scholarly publishing is, is collected and disseminated. It would any, enable to, to publish really peer-reviewed, high-quality work and get it out freely. Right now, if you, if you have a very prolific author who puts out 15 publications in a year and he's roughly spending, let's say, $2,000, that's $30,000. That's the cost of another grad student. Okay, so we're spending money putting out a bunch of paper, okay, when we could be putting out a human being instead. I'm really uh, jazzed up by this. I personally have made contributions to the fund to support it because, uh, because I believe in it. The game of publishing is changing as we speak, and I think ECS can play a pivotal role in, in this transformation, and I think we are doing it. And so I'm proud to be part of this, this movement, if you will. And, and we call it, uh, what better name than Free the Science.